There's been a few developments in the DV space and it is very, very exciting. So first of all, there was a feature where we could have nested rows. So let me show you quickly how this works. So here I have a brand new page. If we click here on this plus button, you know, as normal, we can go in and add our row. So with our row selected, we can also add, let's say, for example, our text, and then it will look something like that. But now let's say you want to have some rows inside, and this time you want two columns. So what you would do is you'd click here on this plus button, and we have this new entry now, which says new row. So if you click here, now we have our rows. You see that? So what we can do with this layout is we can go in and select that, and with that selected, we can decide what we need to have in there. So let's say we are going to have text. And then on this side here, we are going to have an image like that. Okay. So as you can see now, our layout is starting to take shape. I can now go in here like that, select my image, and then I am going to upload the image. Okay. So now we have the image. Now I know we can't really see what is happening here because... You know, we don't have any kind of like boundaries. And the really cool thing about this is if we use SiteCrafter, we are able to use all our um, CSS classes. So let's start off by coming over here to row settings. And in this row, what I'm going to do is we're going to come over here to advanced. And then we're going to go to CSS ID and classes. And we're going to start off by adding a background. So we're going to say BG dash gray because we're going to add just a gray background so we can see what is happening. And this is going to be gray. Let's go with gray 50. Okay. So we can now see we have that slightly gray color. And we also need to have some padding. So we're going to add pad for padding. Oops, I added a capital there. Okay, P-A-D. And this is going to be large. Okay. So we can see now we have a bit of padding around this. Okay, so that's looking great. So let's continue on with this. We're going to go into our module settings here. Uh, remove some of this text because that's a bit too much. Okay, and we're going to center it. Next, we're going to come over here to advanced and make this a heading. So I'm going to come over here and say heading dash L for large. Anyway, that's too large. So let's go with uh, medium. Okay. In fact, the text is a bit too much still. So let's just get rid of a bit more text. Okay, like that. Right. Now... With this uh, row, we can go in and let's do the same thing. We are going to add a color in the background. So we're going to go to CSS ID and classes. And then this time we're going to say BG dash gray. And this time let's go with the gray 100. Okay. Uh, maybe 200 will do. Okay, that's slightly darker. And then I'm going to say padding for PAD. And we're going to go for, let's go with large. So now we can clearly see all our rows. So this is the first row. Okay, this is our text module. This is another row. So let's say in here, we want to add two rows. We can still go in and say new row. And then we're going to add two columns or even go three columns. It's up to you what you want to do. So with that, let's add some icons. I'm going to select that and then the icon we're going to, we are going to choose is going to be, let's have a look here. So let's start off with this one and then let's adjust the size. So we're going to come over here to design and here's the size. Let's reduce that a little bit. Let's go with 50 and then we're going to just duplicate this a few times and then just drag this over. Okay, so now you can see that we, with these nested um, rows, we can design, you know, pretty much amazing layouts now. So with this, let's go with um, that. And then let's just change this one here to, let's go with that. Okay. So now we have our icons. And I mean, I could add an, a color around this so that you can see that it's another nested row. But the most important thing is, we now have layouts that are even more interesting. You know what? This is really annoying me. So let's go in and add a margin top. So we're going to go to CSI, CSS ID and classes, MT for margin top, dash L for large. See that? So now our layout is looking complete. So 
This here is really, really important. And the most important thing for us, especially for those of you that purchase SiteCrafter uh, framework, it still works with this feature. So you can continue and start using it in your existing uh, designs and that should work fine. Now, here's the thing. I am still uh, waiting for two more features. Just uh, yesterday, or is it the day before, Divi released this new feature. In fact, I'll just play it here without the sound. So you can see. So these are nested modules. Look at that. So now we can have modules which are nested into one group. So you can have, let's say, a blurb and a call to action all in one. So this feature here is really powerful. In fact, this is what is demonstrated here in this example. This is going to allow us to design even more exciting stuff. So at the moment, I am waiting for these two features, including uh, the feature to, uh, including the uh, Flexbox. So once Flexbox and nested uh, modules is added, now I can go ahead and improve this because at the moment, I just want to make sure that SiteCrafter is compatible with all these features that are being released. And so far, so good. I mean, I've been testing this behind the scenes to see if this is working. And just so you know, I'm also uh, working on uh, section layouts, which then we'll be able to use and just drop into our designs as we are designing. But at the moment, it doesn't really make sense because we need... You know, the complete Flexbox uh, integration into, not integration, but Flexbox feature into this and also the nested modules. I think once we have those two, we are going to have amazing content coming up. So this is why things have been a bit slow on um, in the community and also on my YouTube channel. But I'm going to start now creating a lot more content slowly, especially using the nested feature, but uh, nothing is going to be towards our product yet for our community because the Flexbox feature is going to change pretty much how we design websites. It's really, really awesome. In my opinion, Divi is going the right way and it looks like the development speed is really on the next level now because very, very soon we're going to have a lot of features in uh, DV5 and this is going to be really, really exciting. Anyway, let me know what you think about um, this feature right now and I will be posting very soon in um, in the community once I have a few more tutorials. And I have a lot of tutorials lined up. I have a backlog. So uh, this week, is in fact, starting tomorrow, I'm going to be creating a lot more content and I will be responding to a lot of messages in the community. Anyway, I thought I'll just give you a quick update as to what is happening. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.